Texas death row inmates will no longer get the last meal of their choosing. Prison officials are changing the rules after what happened Wednesday. White supremacist Lawrence Russell Brewer was about to be executed for the 1998 murder of an East Texas black man, James Byrd. KXAN's David Scott tells us why the last meal that Brewer ordered was the last straw. Condemned Texas prisoners have been getting a last meal for nearly a century, but Lawrence Russell Brewers took the cake. A seven-course meal, and he never ate a bite. The chairman of the Senate's Criminal Justice Committee hit the roof. Well, he's a bad person, and it might very well be as simple as he was just trying to show us, he would just show us that we couldn't control things right up to the end. Why didn't someone use some judgment and put that to a stop? Senator Whitmire's been trying to end the last meal for years. Now it is. Can you imagine the victim's family who were there to witness the execution, knowing that this killer of their brother was getting uh, these kind of special treatments? Just wrong. And, and it will, and it has ended. Prison food can't touch the Hills Cafe, but the Hills showed us what Brewer's uneaten feast looked like. Two chicken fried steaks, a triple meat bacon cheeseburger, a cheese omelet, a bowl of okra, three fajitas, a pound of barbecue with bread, and ice cream. Is this a meal to die for? Lawrence Russell Brewer apparently thought so. Chicken fried steak. No way I could touch this, so we shared with the next table. These guys said, no way, but they'd try. The Hills bill for all this, 75 bucks, not counting the tip. There you go. David Scott, KXAN News.